AngloCon 2015 Sunday morning Linux review. Yeah, and then someone blew their horn at us. And then we immediately knew that uh, my mug was dead. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway. I really liked it too because as you were drinking it, it had a sign on this side of it that people would read that said, don't be a dick. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, you didn't even live up to your own mug, did you? I did not. <laughs> but anyway, so, moving on past that, but that's what that was all about. So, what I did is I took a picture of the uh, broken right. mug in the parking right. lot ramp, or the parking mm -hmm. ramp, and then posted it on Google Tom. Plus. Yeah, Tom, friend of the show, oh, Tom. Yeah. Yeah, lamented, yeah. lamented that uh, since it was a coffee mug, we needed to have like last rites. <laughs> <laughs> and for all you latecomers, there are donuts and ribbons yeah. on some chairs back there. We believe there. no one has sat on those. Yeah, no one has sat on the donuts yet, so they're still available. I also brought uh, stickers for Hacker Public Radio and Kansas Linux Fest. This is the closest. This is the closest I can get to the mic. Test, test, test. Do I need it closer? Test. I can uh, scoot the tripod. No, no, no. Test you one just two. have to loosen that knob. Test one, two. Test one, two, three. Let's see. Test, 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 Tony. Test. All right. Well, we need to do one at a time. Yeah. I'll, I'll let fifty go first. He's on the end. Thank you. <laughs> fifty test. Fifty test. Fifty test. Fifty test. Thank you very much. Uh, one more time. 50 test. Hey, is he all right? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, and then I need somebody to talk into the audience, or actually just as you're sitting right there, uh, we need a few people to talk. Yeah, because we want okay. to get ambient this, sound. This is a test of the floor mic. How Someone else just say rhubarb. Rhubarb. <laughs> there we go. Let us know. Test, 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 oh, test. If oh, Brian can move the mic closer if you need him to. Test, no. test, 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 test. How are you good? Test Lee, okay. All right, Mary, are you clipped on? I am clipped. I'm clipped. I think uh, I think I'm still turned on. Okay. Um, yeah, you're good. Okay? All right, great. Don't talk much louder than that, or I can turn you <coughs> I'll moderate, modulate, what is it? Modulate. modulate. Okay. Oh wait, your lapel needs to be lowered. Oh, is that my problem? No, I mean, it's just for better quality. It needs to be like six inches from your mouth. Okay, like right in the cake. Yes. Yeah. Oh, or you can put it on your string too. I, don't know. I think that will roll. Okay, uh, all right. One more time. All right, test one, two, test one, two, three, three, two, one. Six, seven, eight, seven, six, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, okay. three, two, one. Test, test. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking. Yes. <laughs> I need to test my mic now. This being right, Sunday test, morning is supposed to be test. test Matthew, test. Mark, Luke, John. Test, yeah. test. Oh yeah. John oh. Um. All right, I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna, we're going to try loudspeakers for today. So, what? Matt has a built-in loudspeaker. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Talk to you guys now. All right. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Hello, hello, hello. 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 I, you, can, you can probably hear us without the loudspeaker, right? I hear. I hear Matt. Yeah, can you, can you Matt, out right. the speaker? I hear Matt directly as opposed oh, okay. to the speaker. Well, Pat, can you hear us in the back? Pat, can you hear us in the back room if we talk like this? You can hear Matt in the living room. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. My object is to be heard. <laughs> okay. You made it. <laughs> All right. It has nothing to do with the fact that I've spent a lot of time in data centers without air protection. <laughs> okay. Somebody travels lightly with that. <laughs> 
Well, Got his phone? <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had time to use it anywhere, so. Besides, I didn't have to come up with any stories. This is my kind of podcast. <laughs> That's sort of an inside joke. I'm usually the one that comes up with all the stories for Colonel Paddock Oddcast, and usually it's like 60 or 70 so stories that we go through. So, Well, we know who has the time on their hands. You're going to have to wake it, Mary. No, I, uh, I I got the one, the Microsoft, uh, the, micro, the Microsoft licensing. Uh, I'm just, I've got the pages. Um, not that we're going to tip our hand about our story, but usually we talk about what we're going to be covering. Before we actually start the broadcast. To make sure we both haven't selected the same story, which happened, I think. Yeah, it twice. happens a couple of times. So then uh, Matt always makes sure he goes first. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my story then. No. So um, so it's the Microsoft licensing. They, continue, they have... Um, they have license. Yeah, it's Sometimes, not me, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've ended up licensing um, another couple of times these um, uh, yeah. home. Uh, no, providers. mine was how mine, I have how Microsoft threw Debbie in a birthday party. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's funny. That is a good one. And then I have. Uh, Mary, Mary, Mary. How's that? Can you I have a little lamb. Can you, you hear me? Lamb. More? You want me to talk more? Matt, can you talk one more time? All right, Peter Peck to pick a pepper. Page 50. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Um, that's me, Mary. Yes, test, one, two, three. Test, test. Again? Test. Oh. Test, one, two, three. How an Irish legislator proposed that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, you'd be in jail. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> you'll, you'll understand why I said that. Test, 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 Okay. Hi. Um, uh, those of you who are looking at this via YouTube, please be aware that you're looking at the raw, unedited version of Sunday Morning Linux Review. If you'd like to see the final version of Sunday Morning Linux Review, please visit, visit us at uh, smlr.us. Thanks. So there. So there. <laughs> <laughs> and that visit just rolled right off my tongue. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, you were, it was, you were on your game. Yeah. All right. Um, Tony, how are we doing? All right, I think uh, we're close to going, but I don't think the soundboard's going to work for us today. What does that, what does that mean? You'll just have to put them in later. Mm. Oh, actually, the soundboard's oh, yeah, sound working. The Google but now we've talked over audience, the soundboard. The audience is not going to hear the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the soundboard is that, simply... Oh, that's why I wanted to run the... Um, yeah, it's just a little uh, little music thing. To the little, little uh, like intro, intros, intros to our different, to our different if segments. If you ever listen to the podcast, uh, the finished version of the podcast, it's the different segments and our, our theme music at the beginning that was made by a friend of the show, John. Who's actually a local guy? He's pretty cool. I'm surprised he didn't come. Yeah, he could I don't make think I've ever seen him in a time. Uh, all right, so I guess we're ready to go. All right. Um, so this is the. Uh, uh, all right, start over. <laughs> <laughs> we we oh, have outtakes too, and, and what we do with twenty no, minutes. No, Tony, we'll we just play some minutes in the bottom. Show. Have you put the outtakes in lately? We haven't had a whole lot. Yeah. yeah. Every once in a while, throw them in. Now that we're doing it, we're, because we're not doing it in Tony's basement, we're doing it in front of real people. <laughs> 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 we have a few. All right. All right, try not to do that again. Get <laughs> <laughs> okay, all set. All right. Uh, welcome to the Sunday Morning Linux Review. This is Tony Venus. Matt Anders. And Mary Tomich. And this is episode 150. Penguin Con. Penguin Con. 2015. 2015. Right. And so, speaking of 150. Yeah, folks, uh, I'm 5150 and I'm not with the Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> 
But you, if you listen to podcasts like the Colonel Panic Allcast or Hacker Public Radio or Linux Slugcast, then you might re uh, recognize my voice. All right, good to have you here, Fifty. Thanks yeah. for asking me. Yeah, I, and I think it's rather you know, just great timing too. It's mm -hmm. great timing because it's our one hundred and fiftieth episode and all that good stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't even put that together until we just said it. <laughs> I, I still didn't put it together until she told me. <laughs> I didn't realize until I said it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so Tony, what, uh, why don't you catch us up on what uh, you've been doing since our last uh, podcast? Well, which is at, about one week ago. <laughs> right. We're at Penguin Time. Uh, so that's the exciting thing. Getting ready. Uh, getting ready. Turn everything down, putting things together. Yeah. Uh, I sat in on your, uh, your presentation on Friday. Yeah, I did. Done. My presentation on the... Uh, Linux or practical network, home networking with the Linux router. Oh, God, quickly we forget. Yeah. That's done. I forgot. No. <laughs> That's right. Uh, of course, you did admit that you uh, run a BSD router. Or, uh, I do. Yeah, <laughs> I run a BSD router now with PF, PF Sense. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I don't busy stuff at work. Nothing big mm -hmm. happened. Met my new boss. How was that? Uh, it was good. Good. Yeah, we had a meeting, kind of like, you know, what yeah. do you do? Give me the 10 what reasons. Do you do? What you do. Give me the 10 reasons not to fire you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, it's been great. Cool. Are you next? Or yeah, you know? nothing. Nothing, really? Yeah, I look pretty. <laughs> Just because I had all my presentations done. I gave three presentations at PenguinCon here. And they were all, uh, they were all done and in the can, so. Mm -hmm. And work was quiet. Unusually so, so <laughs> yeah. it's always a good thing. Yeah. Oh, that's and, neat. Uh, and we, oh yeah, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, Mary. Yeah, yeah you've been talking so much, I forgot you didn't give yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. No, I know you did. I know you did. Um, he totally did. I, I just essentially uh, prepared for PenguinCon. I uh, had to you know, get this laptop all set, ready to go um, for my presentation on dolphin, swimming with dolphins. Which will be at when then? Um, it's going to be at noon. Noon today. And it's going to be see in um, I think Al Gant, the, uh, that room that, that you gave yours in, I think. Al Gant, I think so. It's on the schedule anyway. I'm sure I'll find it before I had time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but I, yeah, I spent most of my time doing that. And, you know, they said uh, uh, making sure that um, KDE Connect, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating KDE Connect for those of you who aren't aware of it. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a method for you to uh, control your desktop from your phone. Uh, not only control it, you can, uh, you can run the music player, your desktop will get your uh, notifications and, and updates and, and those, you know, those kinds of things. And then also you can transfer files back and forth, so I'll be talking about that. So, but anyway, so that's what I, I did, I got ready for that. That's right, and our guest 5150. What's going on in your life? Well, since I've never been on the show before, I'd have to tell you everything that I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. I, I think we'll, we'll probably skip over that. Now, the, the main thing I did last week was get ready to come to Penn Con because I hadn't even got, I, I, Tony had uh, kindly offered to uh, put me up, but uh, uh, so I decided to come, but I hadn't arranged for uh, plane tickets yet. And uh, last Saturday I was on uh, the Colonel Panic Allcast and I told them, oh, uh, no, I won't be on in two weeks because I'll be in uh, Michigan. So then I looked at the calendar and said, no, that's next week. I better get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Planning ahead. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just like you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of a watchword for our podcast. Yeah. Planning ahead. <laughs> um, we keep saying we're going to do it. <laughs> Okay, well, good. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks for that uh, bit of information. I guess, uh, I guess we're going to move on to... Move on to the Kernel News. Kernel News. And that's looking at DistroWatch. <laughs> <laughs> I have it now. Okay. All right. The main line is 4.0 released on 4.12. The newest stable version is 3.19.5 released on 4.19. Then long-term kernel 3.18.12, released on 4.20, 4.20. But, uh, and then long-term kernel 3.14.39, released on 4.19. Long-term kernel 3.12.40, released on 4.9. Long-term kernel 3.10.75, released on 4.19. 
Long Term Colonel 3.4.107, released on 314. And that's the Colonel News. Great, thanks, Matt. You're welcome. And before you ask, no, I do not have a Colonel developer quote. Oh, I wasn't going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for telling me that. You're welcome. All right. Well, um, I guess uh, we're done with the Colonel. So let's, uh, let's catch up on our distros. All right. So, <coughs> what was our last report date? Do you remember? It was last week. It was last week. Seven, subtract seven. Yeah, so, <laughs> our, so our next, um, I think our next um, production distro is Calculate Linux. Huh? Yes. I thought we talked about that last no. week. No, we did not. Mm -mm. Scientific right. Linux oh. is what we talked about. <coughs> it's all about all those smart Linux distros. They have right. these very smart names. <laughs> Calculate. Although, oh, we've mentioned, oh, go ahead, Tony. I'll mention it later. So the I difference between it. Calculate and Scientific well, is Calculate is Gen 2 based, and Scientific is based on Red Hat. Yeah, that's, that's right. a good that's point. That's when we always get that confused mm -hmm. when we start talking about Yeah, and uh, what, uh, what uh, Calculate Linux, uh, 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 although its name sounds very scientific and kind of mathematically uh, mathematical based, it actually is a distro that is just kind of a regular distro. They've got a um, media edition, they've got a regular desktop edition, they've got a server edition, they've got several desktops that are also available on Calculate Linux. Um, one thing that they did on this particular release is that they have decided, and I think Matt, this goes back to it being Gen 2 based, they've decided to um, fork UDEV for uh, EU dev, and that has to do with that whole system Z now. Right, because they're not mm -hmm. going to use system Z. Yeah, because Gen2, the Gen2 Gen Gen project, yeah, Gen, the Gen2 project forked U dev, I think, back in 2012, and um, so now Calculate has decided to go that route. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, there's this, this big uh, discussion. I, I call it a discussion, <laughs> although it's been very fiery at times. And, and for all intents and purposes, the discussion is over. System D is the future, whether you like it or not. As like me, I hate it. Uh, actually, on a desktop, it's not bad. But you use a desktop much differently than you interact with a server, and I just I think it's bad. But I've got to I've got to learn it. So got it up. It's either that or switch everything to FreeBSD and I'm not doing that. FreeBSD, <laughs> that's what I got, you know, like, I ended up getting my shirt that says, got FreeBSD. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, so that's Calculate Linux, and uh, as I mentioned, they're a Russian-based Russian distro, and uh, they've got several different flavors. So I think next up, uh, we've got... Next up, we have, not the development one, but IP Fire with uh, 2.17. Or 89, uh, and that's one of the Linux distros, and that's actually what I used to demonstrate uh, during my talk yesterday. You did, yeah, uh, on Friday. Yeah, I saw that. Or, yeah, Friday. Yep, yeah, I saw so that. So I had I brought my laptop in because that was my <laughs> own setup. I didn't have to take the internet down for my wife at home, so it's uh, spousal approved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the things they've added in this distribution is the abil ability to graph your you're in and out on the VPN, how much traffic you're moving out on it, and how much traffic's coming in on it. Yeah. Well. All right, next up we have Web Converger 28.0, and they are a specialized Linux distro for web kiosks, mm -hmm. uh, and based on Debian 7. And that's the new version that's just out, isn't it? 7 is yes. the latest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, they have Flash built into it, so they they tell all they're telling all their users, even if you're a live user, you must update to the most current one for the Flash fixes alone. Yeah, and, and they're actually I don't know if this particular release is is Debbie and Jesse. I think they're still from based on what they said on their release uh, announcement, they're still uh, working to um, transition uh, from Wheezy to Jesse. Again, it's, those are the Debian. It says based on Debian. So. Okay. I said coming soon a major update to upgrade from Debian Code and Linux Jesse smoothly. Yeah. Well, somebody is flying by. Yeah. So somebody is. Because right here it says. Yeah. That it's, you know. Yeah. All right. All right. But anyway, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll see the on the next release which way they've gone. I'm sure we get to Jesse. That's right. And then the next one up we have is the Starbuntu 
What? 15.04. Asterisk Ubuntu. Oh, asterisk Ubuntu, yes. Yeah, so yeah. it's all the Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Lubuntu. The, the oh, the Bunto family releases. Yes. releases. Yeah, they've yeah. released all of them, as you all have seen probably in the various news uh, uh, news reports. Um, also, one thing, one I did, did notice too, uh, Ubuntu Studio uh, also was included in that release on uh, the very top of the list there, you'll That's see. That's right, yep, Ubuntu um, Studio. Yeah, I'm thinking of downloading yeah. that and giving that a try on um, one of my. Uh, your laptops. Right. You want to know? I thought you would give Kylan a drink. Kylan? Yeah. A bunch of Kylan? No, that's the Chinese one. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, actually, um, I think for um, um, video, uh, video uh, editing and that type of thing. As a matter of fact, I went to uh, I went to the um, actually um, friend of the show, Ryan and I went to the Open Shot uh, video editing session yesterday morning. How was that? I thought it was kind of interesting. I mean, it was, there wasn't anything earth shattering that I learned there, but um, I enjoyed watching uh, or seeing some of the capabilities of OpenShot. Um, and so that's why I started thinking then about Ubuntu Studio. I think, oh, I should download that because I've i got that green screen set up in my basement. The Katie and Live is a better. We talked about that. He thought Open Shot was, but he said he hadn't tried keep, uh, KDE in live for about uh, a couple of years, I guess. So I think they've had at least a couple of releases. He might better. All right, there That's we have it. There we go. Not From an audience that, member. But they were recently accepted into uh, the KDE uh, project. Yes. So an official so, application. So, so now the confusion is over. <laughs> yeah. Were you at the. Uh, no, but I'm a long-time OpenShot user since so came live about a year ago. I do uh, have a YouTube channel and publish a lot of videos. The editing is so superior to keep live, and the development support is a lot better. Okay, yeah. that's very good. Katie, oh, Katie, Katie alive, alive. is the... Yes. So. Um, and then we have one distro to go. The last one, the one we were just talking about. <laughs> Debian, uh, Virginia yeah. Linux 8.0 is what we're Ah, ah, there we go. There we go. So that's Jesse. Yes. There. See, that's what they were talking about, the web converger folks. So that's a, yeah, it's a pretty major release um, for the Debian uh, project. Yeah, and, and it ships with GNOME Shell 3.14. And System D, right? Mm -hmm. Right now. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. You know, I didn't get a chance. I think that just yeah. came out. I didn't get a chance. Debian release uses system, system D as a default yep. in software. There you that's go. That's it. Yeah. Everywhere but Slackware and Gen 2. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, they said so. It's been about two years since their last release, and it will be supported for the next five years. So until 2020. <coughs> okay. Well, good. And that's what's good about Debian, right? Because they're always stable. And, yes. Uh, you can rely on them being around for a long time. Very good. All right. All right. So we're uh, done with that. I guess it's time to take a look at uh, the what was the most the top popular. five. Yeah, top five for the week. Yeah, and so, again, that's just according to oh, Tony, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, this is something we do for fun. We uh, we look at the top five uh, ranking on the DistroWatch webpage, and by no means that's an actual popularity or amount downloaded or used of the distros. Uh, it's just look fun, so yeah. I started doing it's it. The, it's, the count is solely based on hits to the DistroWatch page for the distribution. So, I just tell you. Yeah, so at number five, we have Fedora with 1422. Yeah, I can't tell. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Usually what happens, well, go ahead, Matt. Okay, and trending up. <laughs> <laughs> and Ty, I think it's the first time we've seen. Ty yes. in fourth place is uh, Ka OS with 1422. And trending up. And number three is Debian with 1906. And trending up. Number two is Ubuntu with 2664. And trending up. And in the number one spot <laughs> is Mint. Gotta love that minty goodness. With 3255. And trending up. Hey, and just just to make a couple of comments, Kubuntu um, is a hearty number nine this week. That really shot up. And also Magia. Remember Magia? We used to talk about Magia. Oh, we yeah, we had that bet. <laughs> <laughs> Who won that bet? You won that bet. Thank Mary. you. Um, Anyway, it was about Magia being in the top five for a certain period of time, and it's now... Um, she just fired up a bunch of bots that kept hitting their... <laughs> <laughs> That's how she won it. <laughs> down at number 10, and um, for anybody who's interested in FreeBSD, that's uh, at number 36. 
and I think TCBSD is in there somewhere. Um, um, yeah, nobody really cares. cares. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's number 63, TCBSD. So it's a good laptop. But good laptop distro. If you're if you're There's thinking about uh, trying out uh, one of the BSDs, <laughs> I, I recommend uh, TCBSD. Um, I run it with the KDE desktop, and when you're when you're working. <laughs> Uh, working on it from just from a regular everyday perspective, the graphical interface, you, you can't really tell that you're not running Linux. Um, it's when you start to go in a little bit, there's a, it's a few extra directories and a few different things. You know, Matt, you and I talked about um, the folder structure, uh, the directory structure of uh, those two. And take, remember, I started putting together a comparison yes. the Linux folder structure and the BSD folder structure. Yeah, because Linux has people. basically broken the file system hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And FreeBSD still adheres to it. Yeah, so we were going to talk about that at some point. Maybe Which file system hierarchy is that? The file system. <laughs> What's the name? Is it the POSIX? The, the, it's right? just, I've just called the, the file system Unix. hierarchy. The Unix. The Unix. The Unix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why BSD sticks to it, because they're based on Unix, right? Yes. Well, can, yeah. And for those of you who have come in late, there are donuts and ribbons. <laughs> and stickers. In the middle up here. <laughs> So, um, but anyway, yeah, so that, uh, so uh, as I was saying, if you're interested in trying out uh, BSD, just to kind of see what it's like, PCBSD is really... Uh, yeah. PCBSD is the Ubuntu of BSDs. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've got a weekly podcast, too, BSD now. You say that like it would be a good podcast. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's essentially free BSD with uh, utility yes. stats and some graphical tools yeah. and things on top. So, all right, I guess we're done uh, that. All right. Yeah. So next up, we, this is normally where our like special subject or uh, mm -hmm. section would go. So either the review or uh, tooltip or right. Uh, I've got a mini review. We oh, we're not we're not doing that. Yeah, we, oh. yeah, I do. I'm gonna just do a quick little. Uh, uh, I'm just doing a quick little comment. Um, yesterday, actually, I uh, spoke uh, briefly with Michael. He's um, he runs a website, frugalcomputerguy.com. And uh, there you are. There he is. Right. Right there. Mm -hmm. um, and, I've uh, actually I used your website. You, <laughs> and, and Michael, I promised you that I'd go and take a look at it, and yeah. I did. And i got to tell you, I was impressed with it because um, on a previous episode, I had talked about um, Microsoft Access versus LibreOffice Base. Now, I used to develop some small apps in, uh, on Microsoft Access, and I always liked it because it was so self-contained. Um, and I just... Ooh. Well, just, I know, I know. But that was a Microsoft product that I thought um, was fairly well designed for desktop database applications. And, um, and so that's what I used, even after I went over to Linux in my you know, personal computing. But uh, I had tried base, and it just seemed kind of complicated. Uh, there was this whole connection thing, and it was, wasn't self-contained, as I could tell. But but after um, I, I went through and took a look at your uh, your uh, uh, video tutorials, and I was very impressed with how well you laid everything out. And uh, again, this is uh, the frugalcomputerguy.com. Uh, there's going to be a link to that in our show notes when they're published, um, so that you can go there yourself and take a look at it. But what he what he has done is he uh, first of all he's got <clears throat> he's got um, Linux tutorials. Then he's I think you've also got some where if you're transitioning from XP to Linux, you kind of walk people right through that. Again, very impressive. I mean, this it, it's for people who are not familiar with Linux but have an old XP desktop and they don't want to throw it out. They just want to continue to use it with a different OS. I think your site does a very nice job with that. Huh? Well, yeah. Oh. I mean, if you want to step up to the mic, Aaron, if you want to. Yeah. Why don't you oh, talk okay. about? Little, nobody's going to talk about you if you don't talk about yourself. <laughs> yeah, you know, nobody's going to talk about your site better than you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So I, I've broken them up into series. Like you mentioned, the. Uh, uh, the base series. So I start at the beginning for someone with no experience and I get into how to create a database, then how to make forms, then as you get further along they're more and more advanced. So the ones around, uh, I think they're 80 and 90, there's about 90 of these. And in the 90s we connect to MySQL and show how to do that. And I even use the MySQL workbench and I show a little bit about that. There's only like four videos, just enough mm -hmm. to get you going. Sure. Uh, but the current series is the uh, going from Windows XP to Linux. And if you start at video one for somebody with no experience with Linux whatsoever, and I explain a little bit about what it is, 
And I try and keep it moving, not to bore people, but if you've exactly. been using Linux for a while, I don't know how much you're going to get out of these first ones, and I, I don't know how far I'm going to go with it, because I kind of make them up like the week before and write it out. <laughs> so, Sounds like us. <laughs> uh, next week's right now. Um, I have a question, though. You show how to connect to MySQL and uh, do...